Hi guys. Well, hello there. We are here today with another episode of Bitches Be Shopping. Bitches Be Shopping. We recently went on a no buy, low buy, low buy, whatever that means. And uh, yeah, so we wanted to show you what we bought over the last, I would say probably six weeks. Like, yeah, like a month and a half. It's not all been like, you know, this weekend. But if I'm being honest, it is shameful. It's very shameful. I would say that this is part of what spurred our need to go on a low buy. Mine is almost twice the size of Jessica's. Yeah, no, she's not lying. She's gone completely crazy. I did. And I've been good. I have been good. I think. Not really. Better than me. <laughs> but we wanted to show you some of the stuff that we've purchased over the last... Um, probably six weeks or so, yeah. and then you'll understand why we ended up going on that low buy slash semi no buy. Low buy, no buy, mm -hmm. low buy, no buy. Mm -hmm. Really, it's a low buy. It's a low buy. She's going first. I am going first because time. I have a ton of stuff. Now, this is collected from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ulta, and then a teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny bit of Sephora. That's it. Just an itty bitty scrooge of Sephora. All right, I'm gonna start off with I foundations. Um, I got the at, um, TJ Maxx, the Marsh or the Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation. I got it in the shade tan, which is starting to get a little bit dark for me, but I got it right after I got back from Hawaii, mm -hmm. so I was nice and dark and tan. So um, I really liked this foundation. I used it in one of our True Hollywood Thursdays. I think I used it in the Amy Winehouse. Um, and I really did like it. So she liked it. She liked it. I'm gonna still use it, but I'm gonna mix it in with a foundation that's too light. Or so I can get the right color. <laughs> Uh, side note about our True Hollywood Thursdays, um, those are now just going to become True Hollywood Tragedy? tragedies um, because having a set date to have to upload yeah. those is just becoming too much and I have it's, to edit them and it takes hours. It's very difficult so. with my travel schedule. So we're just going to upload them when we do them as we can. Mm -hmm. So, awesome. Moving on. Uh, I'm going to start with this one, and it's got a little bit it's of a funny, funny story, story to it. Um, everybody knows Sonia Kashuk. Um, what is it called? The uh, self-focused satin matte foundation is like my absolute, like, I would die for you foundation. I love it. Hands down, my favorite. And they discontinued it. I ordered it on Amazon in the shade Bamboo, which... A little bit dark. Probably a little bit dark for me now. It wasn't a couple of weeks ago when I got it. Um... Because I haven't really been out in the sun anymore. It's getting chilly. It's getting cold. It's getting so cold here. Fucking fall, man. Um, but, so I ordered this. And one night I was making dinner. And I left my daughter in my bedroom for like three seconds. Mm -hmm. Unsupervised. Hilarious. And I went in to check on her because it got strangely quiet in the room. <laughs> and she had <laughs> taken this and another foundation. But she had poured about half of this out and had rubbed it all over her tummy. She had just rubbed it all over herself and it was all over my, uh, my husband got me a white bed set for Christmas, not Christmas, Mother's Day. So it was all over that. <laughs> and she was very tan, so. very, very tan. So yeah, she, Alice is a little pasty baby. She really is, she's super white, like glow in the dark. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so she had rubbed this all over her body so it it's almost funny. gone now. <laughs> it's brand new and it's almost gone now, but I love this foundation. I'll probably order another one if I mix it mm -hmm. with a lighter shade. I'm good to go. Yep. So I love it, love it, love it. All right, the next one I'm going to talk about, I picked I up one while uh, my son was home from uh, school sick and I ran to CVS to get him some cold medicine and I saw this sitting there and I was like, you know what, screw it, I keep wanting to try this. This is the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. I got the shade Light Tan, and I've used it twice since I bought it. I Thoughts? do really like it. One. It is really nice. It definitely stays a long time, and it was worth the, I think it was like $7.99 or $8.99. Mm. Very inexpensive. Super excited to have this. Okay, another foundation. Ooh, I have this. This is the BB Dation from Amore US, Amore Us. Um, this is... This is the Comfort Matte Finish. It's I have the shade Golden Beige. She has the shade Caramel Beige because when I ordered it, I ordered this one. By and she had just gotten back from Hawaii. So. so she was, you know, like two shades darker than me. So we swapped. We swapped shades. We swapped shades. Mine is, I, I love it. Honestly, I really do. I, I like it very much. 
I do too. I think it's really Pretty nice. Good. How much was this? Like five bucks? Something like five that? Five or six bucks. Something very cheap. It's a nice foundation. I do like it. I do have to mix it in with something light now just because my tan from Hawaii is going away. It's going away. She deserves that. Mm, whatever. So this is another thing that we bought. Another thing that we okay. bought. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is foundation, or not a foundation, a primer that I picked up from Ulta. This thing it. is massive. It's 1.06 ounces. It's this huge um, foundation stick. This is the Revolution Pro Blur mm -hmm. Stick. I took this with me to Hawaii, actually. And, uh, yeah, it's freaking gigantic. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's nice and heavy. It does a really nice job blurring out pores. I like it. I like it a lot. I used it every day while I was in Hawaii. I tended to wear my makeup at night just because in Hawaii, the humidity is so much, so much that you would walk out and it would just start melting off of your face. So, um, yeah, this is pretty nice. It was pretty inexpensive. I think it was like, I want to say it was either eight or 12. I can't remember, but it was really good. I think it was 12 because I, I kind of wanted 12. it. Can I try it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try this. I kind of wanted it and just like no I, I, I can't I can't I won't okay. um another thing that I got at a Marshall's visit was this Too Faced Primed and Poreless um mm -hmm. primer right here skin smoothing face primer I saw it and I grabbed it and then I put it back mm -hmm. and then she and I were going to where we were going grocery shopping I think and our Marshall's just happens to be next to our grocery Crazy. store like right across the street it's pretty nuts Weird. it's almost like Jesus planned it he did Maybe. The sweet little baby Jesus. Um, but I told her, I was like, you know, Marshall says the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. And she was like, we got one. Are you saying we're going to Marshall's? I was like, maybe we should. And so we went and we got this. Um, I'm wearing this today under my foundation. I maybe don't like the way it mixes with my foundation. Do not mind our demon dogs, okay? They're nuts. But I maybe don't like the way it mixes with the foundation I'm wearing today, but I do really like this. I like this a lot, too. Yeah. I, I wasn't thrilled with it today, but I do really like it a lot. Same. Same. All right, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is something that I picked up. We mentioned that I was in Las Vegas for a period of time and that I ran into the Murphy store. Murphy. And I picked up their baking powder, bacon set, setting powder in banana. Right banana. here. Banana. This is, we all know how I feel about Morphe. Doesn't matter how the rest of the world feels about Morphe. I'm going to always love me some Morphe. She's a slave to Morphe. Go ahead, sorry. And uh, this was actually pretty good. I think it was a little bit pricey. I think it was like 12 bucks. And I was like, hmm, okay, Murphy. But I've noticed that with their face or their face products, they tend to get a little bit pricey. How much was it? It was like 12 or 14. I can't remember. I mean, that's not terrible. It's not terrible. But at the same time, I'm just kind of like, dang, Morphe. Whatever. But nice. Nice powder. I like it a lot. Pretty nice, good. Nice powder. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I'm going to keep going on the foundation train. I'm off I the bought quite a few train. foundations this month. I did not buy this one, however. This one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Um, this thing is my boo thing, my baby. I love it so much. Um, it's comparable to my to like my favorite as with the Sonia Kashik, but I think in the amount of love. The amount of love. Uh, we went into Ulta one day and we were just shopping around. Sarah bought some stuff and she grabbed stuff this and guy and I had a moment where I was like, this bitch is buying my favorite foundation. And then we were at the checkout and she was just like, can you put the foundation in a separate bag? And I looked at her and I was just like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> she does that sometimes. She's crazy. But yeah, I love this thing. It's absolutely amazing. It is my... Boo thing. I love this thing. It's my very special foundation. I love it. I love it so I much. I love it. All right, I'm going to talk about another powder that I've been wanting to get. It is on my powders. list. She loves powders. I'm obsessed with powders. She loves them. Listen, it's a thing. I love them. I can't stop myself. Um, I've been wanting to get this powder for a long time, and I finally said screw it and went and got it uh, just a little bit ago. And this is the Milk Makeup Translucent. I got Translucent Medium in the Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. How dare. Um, this stuff is awesome. I love this. I, it has one of those nets in it, which I don't particularly care for because I don't think enough product. I mean, right now it looks like there's enough product on there, yeah. but you got to really like tap it out to get enough product mm -hmm. just because I don't like the nets. Like I just don't like them, but I'm not going to like cut it out because it's going to make, it's going to make a huge mess. Mm -hmm. This powder is amazing. I love it so much. I'm so happy to have it. Um, yeah. Can't say enough. Love Can't it. say enough. 
Okay, I'm almost done on the foundation complexion-y train here. Yep. This guy right here. This is the Born This Way concealer. Uh, I actually tossed my old one out because, well, it was almost gone. And it was almost gone. like uh, close to uh, two years, I want to say. Mm -hmm. But so Marshall's had this. Yes. And they had actually had shades because typically they have the shades that don't sell very well. And so it's like the medium tan shades and those aren't going to work for me as a highlight. But then I found this guy. I got the shade Ferris. Me too. And I love it. I love the this Born is nice. This Way. I love the Born This Way line. I just I just do. I love the foundation. I love the concealer. Mm -hmm. uh, I was iffy about the concealer when I first tried it years ago. Mm -hmm. But then my skin kind of changed, and it's been working a lot better for me now. Yeah, it works. I like it. I like it a lot. Not mad at it. Not mad at all. No, madam. No, sir or madam. All right. Another little complexion-y product. Ooh. I'm going to talk about these two together just to kind of get them out of the way. Because when I bought Jessica's Anastasia foundation, I bought another Anastasia product as well, and I had spent a ton of money uh, on Anastasia products. Ulta really gave me though. a free gift with purchase. It came with a cute little mirror that's in my purse, but then it also came with a clear brow gel, which is super cool. A little trial of it. I like it. It's pretty nice. Nice. Keeps my brows in place. It's pretty cool. Tame and then brows. it came with this uh, cream highlighting stick. Just a little tiny baby. A little nub of a game. Little nubble. Little nubble. And uh, mm -hmm. this is in the um, shade banana. So it's good for cream highlighting. Love that. Love it. Love it. Let's just yeah. continue on the Anastasia train and the complexion train. I picked up this guy right here. This is the Anastasia shadow stick foundation. I have the shade contour. Yep. Um, I think the shade been, is actually mink. I think so. Yeah, hers is a little dark. Um, a little darker than mine. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, just a bit. But we have been getting on the cream contouring train and uh -huh. the Anastasia Stick Foundations, which we did not like as foundation. No. I really like for, for cream, contour. Yeah, cream contour. It does a really good job. Yeah. Um, I really like this. I picked it up at Marshall's. She I, picked me one. I did, yeah. She was just like, do you really like that? And I was like, duh. And then I went to Marshall's when she was somewhere. I don't Probably remember. Probably in Vegas. Probably in Vegas. And I saw that they had another contour shade, so I grabbed it for her. And yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. This I actually like saved my life while I was in Hawaii because my tan started getting a little bit rough. Not rough, but dark. dark. And um, yeah, my foundations rough. wasn't matching, so I was just kind of like dotting this all over my face just to kind of darken everything up. Whew, saved Girl. my life. Girl. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. I'm done with complexion-y products. So I I'm believe gonna... I am, except for one more thing, ish. Ish. Uh, I'm going to talk about this. This is a milk makeup oh, I remember glitter stick. I didn't realize it was a glitter stick till after I got out of the store. So this is pretty cool. It's a glitter stick. It's a little chunky. Yeah, no But kidding. it's very pretty when you blend it out onto your skin with like a beauty blender or a like stippling brush. And I do Super like it. Super pretty. It smells like, I don't know what it smells like. It reminds me of something, but I can't, I can't put my finger on it. But it's very pretty. I do like this. I like milk makeup. I'm I don't getting know on what board. That reminds me of lipstick. I'm, it smells like lipstick. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That works. Um, I'm getting on board with milk makeup. I'm starting to really love them. She's starting to really love them. Okay. My final complexiony product is this guy right here. This is a coconut and rose setting spray by the brand Perlescence. I found this at Marshall's, thought it seemed pretty interesting, and it was only six bucks, so I grabbed it, and I do actually really like it. It's a nice little setting spray. Uh, the mister is pretty fine. Pretty nice. It smells, it smells weird. So good. I love that smell. You love it? I do. I feel like it smells kind of like medicine. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I don't get that. I get pretty. I love it. I absolutely love this stuff. It's really, really nice. So, very happy with that purchase. Her's happy with her purchase. All right, I am going to start talking about single eyeshadows because I did pick up a couple. Um, I got this one yesterday. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Eyeshadow um, Gel Powder Eyeshadow in OMG. This is a beautiful coppery shade. I do have this on my lid today. Perfect for fall. Yes, it is very say. perfect for fall. This is a gigantic uh, single eyeshadow, like, like huge. Love this thing. It is so nice. I love Marc Jacobs makeup, but I will continue to pick it up at TJ Maxx and Marshalls Girl. because I would rather pay like six bucks versus, I don't know, like 20 something bucks. So awesome. They had a couple other shades, but this was the one that really spoke to my soul. Oh, okay. Um, 
singly eyeshadows then I guess this is the only one I have and it's actually a liquid eyeshadow this is the Stila shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow and I have the shade starlight right here got this at Merchel I got two shades I got kitten and pigail pigail what the hell pigail is kind of like a deep deep red there is starlight maybe I can block her face and you can see it now it's focusing on me Hopefully you guys can see that. It's a super pretty, like, very bright shade. Um, I really like it. I tried to swatch it the, the day I got it and, like, kind of smooched it out with my finger and was like, She's oh, like, no, this oh, is shit. Ugly. And, I don't uh, like it. It's garbage. And then I put it on my eye and just kind of patted it out. And I was like, uh -huh. never mind. You pretty. Here are so the two shades. These, get them. Here are the two shades there. I got right there. Kitten and Pigel. Very pretty. Eight Let me bucks see or something. Pigel. Let me see this. Pigel. 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 Like it's name it's P I G A L L E. Pigel. Pigel. Okay. Word. Uh, if you see them at your Marshalls or you can like, pick them up. They're really nice. Eight bucks? Yeah, eight bucks, which is crazy cheap. Crazy cheap. Okay, I'm gonna talk about ooh, a brow product. And I'll talk about the eyeliner that I got as well. This mm -hmm. is again from my Morphe store excursion, which I just found out there's a Morphe in Sacramento. Didn't know that. So what? that's super close. That's kinda close. Yeah, yeah we could go today. We're not. Or not. No. Um, all right. So I got a brow pencil and I got the shade. Where's the shade name? Almond. This one is a tiny, tiny, tiny bit dark. It is a nice, fine pencil. Oh, I can this see that. This is, yeah. uh, this I think was like six bucks. Not bad. Mm -mm. Well, that's Wait, a good color. Oh, I like that color. It is nice. I do like that color and I do like this pencil quite a bit. So mm. nice job, Morphe. And then I got the Morphe eyeliner in caviar. This I think was like four bucks interesting and it is a nice like deeper but kind of satiny brown shade right there that's really pretty i love this i'm super pumped i like it love me some morphe that's it for my morphe haul by the way that's it for her morphe haul no i lied there's one more she's such a big favor face okay so on the mm. eyeliner train this one came as a part of a gift set this uh -huh. is the mark jacobs um highlight glam hot high highliner glam Glitter Gel Eye Crayon in the shade Glam Jam. Very pretty red. I love this. I put this as, I actually used it as my um, waterline liner and then also my um, top lid liner. Mm -hmm. And I got so many compliments on it. And another part of that gift set was highliner gel crayon in blacker. Blacker. This is just a pretty black liner yeah, right there very out. dark black right there it's um, a little baby which is nice yeah super nice came and in a gift set i picked um we got them for 20 bucks at marshall's yeah. no tj maxx yeah and it was like a hell of a deal when you see what else came with it yeah it was um so we are going to move on to that category but not yet with that item hello um, I went to Big Lots with my dog dog over here That's a couple me. weeks ago, and they had a set of Maybelline baby I snagged one of these, but mascaras. I left it downstairs. So I've grabbed these baby mascaras. I got the Total Temptation. I figured this was a great way to try some mascaras and also remember some of the ones I love, like the Lash Sensational. And then the Great Lash, Lash which is just a basic. Isn't that like they're the traditional? Yeah, like, that's it's a basic, pretty you traditional buy, you buy mascara. store mascara. Yeah. yeah. Um, Lash Sensational, I love. And then this Total Lash, t or this Total Temptation mascara. Holy crap. Oh, shit. I, I like have been it. missing out. This is amazing. That girl like it. I like it a lot. I should like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, probably should have talked about these two real fast with my single eye shadows because these are eyeshadow sticks from Wet n Wild. I actually have not even opened these yet. I have the shade So Calm Waters, and that's this like beautiful teal Ooh, shade. And okay. then I have this one right here. What color are you, friend? I don't know. Why are you? Uh, Lavender Bliss, and it's this really pretty light purpley shade. So I need to start to bust these guys out and see what they're all about. I have not opened them yet. Word. Yeah, they were like two something, two dollars and fifty cents or something like that. So it wasn't like even all that bad. So nerf. Got to try them out. They're beautiful colors. Cannot wait to see what I can do with them. Um, oh. Another item that I picked up at um, TJ Maxx was She got this, so excited. I was so excited. This MAC um, Bold Lash Mascara. This thing is pretty unique. I think I used this also in our Amy Winehouse. So if you've seen it before, that's how you've seen it. Mm. Um, the packaging mm -hmm. is like the letters are raised and they're kind of like suede. 
They're like velvety. They're, They're velvety. Like crushed velvety weirdness. Yeah, it's I don't super know. Cool. I don't understand how that's not going to just fall apart, but it's know. really cool I'm just for being now. very careful. So it's got a big wand right here. Right there. Just a big old boy. And then a little tiny baby wand right here. Oh my god. Look, look at that. It's a two in one, guys. And I'm pretty so sure I paid like $9 for it. It's not bad for, for a Mac, Mac mascara. This is a beautiful mascara too. I love it. I love it so much. Something interesting that I stumbled across and I got really super duper excited about it because you guys know that this mascara is like hands down my absolute favorite mascara. I die for it. Yes. Uh, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. However, this, she got the waterproof one. I did. You did get Better Than Love. I did. We have the Better Than Love version, which I thought they really only sold overseas. Um, it's all over. I saw it yesterday at TG Maxx. But yeah, I was pretty pumped when I saw that. I was like, huh. I, I googled it. Like, why did they change the name? Better Than Sex is the, like, what? Why would they change the name? And no, it said that they had to change the name to sell overseas. Yep. So apparently we got two of those mascaras. We did. And I got the waterproof just because there have been some really difficult times in my like life that I've needed some waterproof mascara for the last Girl, few have you weeks. Met her? She so, has. um, this is really, really, really lovely, and, um, it's got these really cool, like, raised, almost like water droplets on it. It's very it's really pretty. awesome. So, yeah, cool. I got a staple in my makeup collection for half of the price. I'm pretty thrilled. Half of the price. Half All of right, the price. I'm going to talk about the last mascara that we got. We both got one of these, and this is, came in that bundle with the two eyeliners from Marc Jacobs. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I shit, it's $27. Yeah, and I got... On its own. And, well, we got the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara and two eyeliners, and it came with, like, a little makeup bag. What, 20 bucks? At Marshall's. It came with a really cute little makeup bag that I'm like, that's a new clutch for me. This is... Yeah. This is such an awesome mascara. This is a favorite, and it has been for years. And yeah, I, absolutely. Like, we jumped all over the chance when we saw it. Oh, that. hell yeah. To get it clearance and with two yeah. eyeliners, like... Beautiful. Not a problem for me, girl. Super duper pumped Not up. Not a problem. Um, here is something that mm -hmm. I picked up at Merchelle's. This is the Kat Von D Metal Crush Liquid Highlighter in Gamma Ray. Ooh, party. It comes with like this, like... Ooh, mine's all globbed out. So that works. So you can swatch it. Yeah, right there. If you can see that. Mm -hmm. Right there. Um... I like this. I think it's really pretty. I think the... I think it's pretty too. Yeah. It, it's really nice. Like with the cream highlight or cream contour we've been doing, I've been trying to do cream highlighting too. And I really like it. This is kind of like a goldy, almost like a, like a goldy orange shade. It's very In pretty. In a way it's really interesting. So I really do like it. I like it a lot. And it was only like $4.99. Yeah, bro. Dude. Yeah. Dude. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this real fast. I got this. Um, this is the Kat Von D Metal Crush Extreme Highlighter in Gamma Ray. I, I got the pressed too. version. And I ended up getting mine a tiny bit cheaper because it was shattered. But I know me. I can fix it. I, yeah. I can fix that bitch. There so I did. My hand right there. It's um, very pretty. These are very pretty. Very pretty. They are very glittery. Lots of glitter. You will have glitter all over your face. You really will. So, you know, prepare for that if you happen mm -hmm. to stumble across those at your TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Mm -hmm. But they but were very like, pretty. They were like five bucks. Five bucks. And I think I got mine for like four bucks because it was broken. Yeah. And then just one dollar discount on a cracked in half thing. Whatever. And I just repressed it and went about my day. And it's beautiful. It's still pretty. <laughs> Still on the Kat Von D Metal Crush Highlighter Train, I saw this guy and said, fuck yes, this is called Rose Shock. This is a beautiful pinky purpley. I can't open it. There we go. There it is. Right there. There we go. Yeah, as soon as I saw that, I was like, uh, yes, please. Let's swatch it right there. Super pretty. I almost got the liquid version too, but then I was like, no, no, no. Cannot go completely crazy. Can't go here because I hadn't sandwich. tried them yet, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them. So now I kind of wish I had gotten it because I really do like the liquid ones. But no buy, low buy. Low I will not buy. be returning. No buy. I will ish, not be ish, returning ish. to pick it up, no matter how much I would like it. But if you see those and you don't mind a bit of glitter, girl, five bucks. You cannot beat it. Five bucks. All right. Um, highlighting stuff. Highlighty right. stuff. This one's kind of like... This one's kind of disappointing. 
Yeah, this is the, I saw this on Facebook actually forever ago. Yeah, right? this, this is, is the, the Glow, Gleam, and Beam e.l.f. highlighting palette. It has six shades in it right here. I sent a picture of it to Sarah when I first saw it on Facebook and was yep. just like, oh my god. And we were both yeah. super pumped. And then when we saw it at our Walmart, we were like, ah, oh, yeah, that's happening. It was 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. I would <sighs> say half of these shades are good. Yeah. Honestly, it's certainly not worth the time. money. It's certainly not worth ten bucks. Um, this Which shade really right sucks, here is we love Elf. Um, This we shade love right here is pretty. Mm -hmm. This shade right here is absolute garbage. Yep, the glitter um, shade. Yeah, trash. That, that one's trash. Um, I essentially like these three right here. This one, this one, and this one. Yeah, those are the ones that I like. I don't like any of the other ones. I'm okay with this one. It's all right. It, like it's dry, so you have to build it up. But it's yeah. like. It's pretty. Once you get it there, it's very pretty, but it does take a while. So you, it does like, take my a long swatches basically time. Nothing. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it, honestly, because it's ten bucks and you really only half of the stuff is good. So I don't think it's worth the money. I don't know. Maybe we're using it wrong. We might be. But I see on here it says pro tip: intensify your look by lightly misting your brush with uh, Elf Mist and Set before applying your highlighter. So, they're recognizing the fact that you might need a little bit of help to build this up. I don't know. You shouldn't have to. You, you should not have to. Have to. Um, okay. Continuing with highlights. better guys. drugstore highlighting palette. Profusion. She got Luminizer Lu 2 is what I have. I got Luminizer 1. Found these at Big Lots. Hold on. I gotta get the thingy off. Oh. I have used this. This I've is very pretty. Bunch. This is very, very pretty. Mine is probably for medium skin tones and mine's Sarah's more is like from, light medium yeah but i love them all five shades are beautiful gorgeous 100 so pretty uh if you see these at your walmart or if you see them at like if you go to big lots and you see them definitely pick Grab them up it. highly recommend and it was only five bucks i really love almost everything Perf profusion does so. profusion is really killing it these days i don't know what's going on but they are kicking some ass yep and i dig it Okay, so on to the next highlighting item. This is something that I picked up at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I can't remember. I don't and know. I was kind of blown away because I had already been to TJ Maxx that day. And Jessica's like, let's go to TJ Maxx. And I'm like, I literally was just there. There's nothing there. And this was a couple hours later. And then when we went in, they had so much more stuff. Like, they had just restocked everything. She should listen to me more And often. they had this sitting there. And I snatched it. And she begged me and begged me and begged I me. I did. She I kept trying to take it wand. from her hand. Like, I kept pulling on it. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer in the shade 79 Guilty. But, as you lo and behold... When we went back, a couple days later, or a couple weeks later, they had another one for her. They did indeed. So I'm hopefully so... she feels dumb for pouting like that in the middle. I of mean, I've been without it for a little while, okay? Like, I could have had it if you had not been so selfish. What would you have done? You wouldn't have given it to I me. wouldn't. I wouldn't have. So, like, exactly. I don't blame her, but I am going to shame her. But she has her own now, so I she can my own, show it. And up. it's gorgeous. This is beautiful. I have the packaging is beautiful. I have it on my cheeks as well. Mm -hmm. Girl, have you met me? Packaging is so pretty. Marc Jacobs packaging is $15. so fancy. Fifteen ninety nine, guys. Dude, crazy good. Like, that's not that bad at all. No, man. not at all. Um, final Kat Von D thingamajig. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this one Sarah actually picked up for me because she is such a nice guy. Okay. This is the Kat Von D Alchemist holographic palette. I actually really did want this when it first came out. Mm -hmm. I thought it was beautiful. I knew she did. And she then did. she found it at Marshalls for like six bucks. It was like six or seven bucks. It yeah, was, was like no so money. cheap. Like it was so, so cheap. And like the pans are really tiny, but the colors are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Pink opal, ultraviolet. Like it's got greens and it's got blue shift and it's really pretty. It's really a unique one. So if you're not into kind of like uniquely colored highlighters, I wouldn't yeah. recommend this, but I think they're beautiful. Beautiful. I think they're really pretty. So very happy with this. And my daughter loves it because she's super into shapes right now. And this is a triangle. Hello. Speak of the devil. Hi, baby. Get your booty butt over here. She's, She's in all her jammies. Kinds of dirty because she just went outside with her daddy in the garden. Yeah, she was playing in the garden with her daddy and on the slides. Where did Alice go? Who knows? I don't. No boopins here. Nothing to see. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, well now that we have a special guest on our video who will just be helping us showcase all of our products, we'll continue. Um, I can't remember who went last. Um, you go. I'll go. Um, I kind of want to knock them all out at one time, I'll but help. then I won't have... Here, you take them. So Sarah hauled one of these a while ago, and she's probably bought an additional one since, but she doesn't really recall. I don't know. Um, these are the Anastasia Powder Bronzers in... I have Cappuccino right here, mm -hmm. Rich Amber, Tawny, and Mahogany. <laughs> She's breaking stuff. That's okay. Yep. Um, they have these at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, and they still have them at Ulta and Sephora, and they're absolutely gorgeous. This shade right here is Rich Amber. Yeah? Tell me. You say mommy shops too much? Probably. Uh-huh. Um, she's got Tawny and Mahogany Tawny. right here. Mahogany is a beautiful, rich, like, deep color. Deep. Shade. Ooh, girl. Girl, have you met me? And my last one right here, this is Cappuccino. This is kind of, I think, my favorite one. I keep using this one. I keep reaching for it. What are you trying to do? <laughs> so here she is that. It. They're like 10 bucks, 10.99, I think, at Marshall's. And I'm pretty impressed. Nice <laughs> coffee. Yeah? Is that pink or is it orange? Pink. It's pink? Okay, it's pink. Mm -hmm. Okay, go I go. All right, so I have a complexion product, not a complexion product, a contouring product here that I picked up at uh, TJ Maxx yesterday. Oh this is the Smashbox Holidays Contour Spotlight Palette, and this is um, beautiful. Look at that, it's right there. You have all these beautiful shades. This is like the um, blush palette I bought a few years ago. I'm really jealous. I that I really it. loved. One of and then I have this, which is absolutely stunning. I used it today, and as I was contouring and bronzing with it, I was like, oh, Smashbox, what have you done to my life? I love you so much. It's any oh, wonder, wow. like, their eyeshadow palettes have not been very impressive. No, but their blushes, their bronzers, stuff like that, I adore. Okay, she seems to be out. She'll Bye, probably Keish. be back. She's back. <laughs> We're back. So this is amazing, and I absolutely adore that. May I help you? Have I been replaced? Okay, so we're going to talk about okay. this guy. Okay, we're going to talk about this guy right here. Sarah actually picked this up for both of us yesterday. Um, she said that there were two, so it was just kind of meant to be. And she went to... TJ Maxx, Marshalls, wherever without me. This is the Kevin Aquan. Yeah, it's got plastic on it, kid. You can't actually dig your fingers <laughs> in. Ha, ha, ha. This is the Kevin Aquan. <laughs> this is the Kevin Aquan, the Contour Book Volume 2. I love you. I love you so much. You're so funny. This is, how much was this? Like $14.99? $14.99. So she picked this up for both of us yesterday. It was pretty nice. Wait, for what? This is pretty cool. Pretty great. I'm pretty excited about this. <laughs> this video is turning into a train wreck. As our videos tend to do. <laughs> Courtesy of the boop. Okay, um, now it's your turn, Leash. All right, I'm going to talk about my first... I'm into eyeshadow palettes now. She's so crazy I'm going to talk about palettes. the first eyeshadow palette that I uh, just have sitting here in front of me. This is... <laughs> this is the Anastasia and Jackie Ida palette. I was on the fence about this until I saw it in old... Wait. And this is just beautiful jewel-toned eyeshadows. I took this palette with me to Hawaii. I used it every day. Um, I adore this eyeshadow palette. This is beautiful. I am so grateful that Anastasia is starting to come out with really awesome products that get me excited about their eyeshadows again. I haven't been pumped up about their eyeshadows in a while. Yes. Buddy, buddy. You guys have two demons to worry about. Yeah. There's my demon. <laughs> We've got the two most amazing kids in the world right here. <laughs> Where's your buddy? Buddy. Where's your buddy? Buddy. Is there your buddy? Buddy. Buddy. Shark doo 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 doo. I love you. Okay. Buddy. I'm gonna talk about this guy while we've got our monsters here. This is the one of the neon palettes from Huda Beauty. I have the orange shimmer sh palette. I got the pink one. Yes. Buddy. Both orange. Right here. No, they're pink. I picked these up because Buddy. I they were saw... on parents, right? Or no, on sale. No, on a sale. Or no, uh, Huda had a sale, like a secret sale that I spotted on um, Trend Mood, where everything, all their palettes were fifty percent off. 
So I got these two palettes and I'm pretty sure I spent right around like 25 bucks. Yeah, she sent me a text that said orange or pink and I think I said pink and then she got really pouty about it and so I said fine orange. Like I didn't know what was going on. So yeah, these are amazing. I love this eyeshadow palette. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. A white buddy. Is that your buddy? Get up, wait. What do you mean wait? What are we waiting for? Should I go again because I have so many? Yeah, go again. Alright, my last item that I picked up while I was at Morphe in Las Vegas is the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Buddy. Dreams palette. I need to try this palette. God, this packaging is amazing. It smells beautiful. And look at these colors. Oh, they're these so pretty. These blues are just really fabulous. Like His um, shimmers or metallics are just stunning. Everything about this palette is absolutely beautiful. It was expensive. It was $48, <laughs> but it was worth it. Very much so. Mom. That's me. I'm your mom. Yes. Here, hold your sh hold hold buddy shark. I'm stealing the Babies. camera focus. Babies. No, you're not. It's focused on me, dude. Because I'm so pretty. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Baby shark do, 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 do. She's obsessed. She just recently yeah. discovered that song. Um, I put in a shop... A more us, a more US order recently, and I actually picked up another one of their sponges, a backup one. Um, but I also picked up an eyeshadow palette or two. Oh my God. <laughs> this is gonna be a nightmare. This is their Bubble Pop palette. It's got some beautiful bright shades to it. Um, I love it. I love their eyeshadow palettes 100%. It's got beautiful bright greens in it, which you know is just perfect for the fall time, right, guys? Wait! They were having a big sale going on, and and they came in a bundle with a different palette, and so it was like, God, I think I spent like 20 bucks on two eyeshadow palettes, a foundation, and the sponge. Yeah. So, very excited very about excessive. these. Absolutely love. Um, if love you haven't Morris. tried them just based on our raving, really do it. Get Absolutely it. do it. Get on it. Get on it. All right. I also picked up an eyeshadow palette. They just recently released from Amorous. Um, the Nude Fantasia palette. This is a very basic everyday type wear palette. I think it's really it pretty. It is very it. pretty. It is more muted than anything, so I think it's going to be really pretty, like almost um, maybe a little bit grungy, so really nice for the fall. Their eyeshadow palettes are fabulous. Absolutely stunning beautiful and this was like 15 bucks so you know it's a huge eyeshadow yeah. palette for 15 dollars bros yeah so wow. on, in, in that same sale <laughs> wow wow indeed i wow. picked also their cake pop palette sarah actually i think has this one right the cake pop palette as well um it's beautiful it's got this beautiful turquoise shade right up there that. at the top <laughs> wow. and um, beautiful shimmer shades, beautiful like neutrally tones. So this is probably a really good one for fall, and I, I love it. It was, Buddy. <laughs> it was in a bundle with the Bubble Pop palette for 28 bucks, and then I think I got it like 35% off. I was pretty happy about it. She is just gonna climb over me to get to him. She's really not happy. He's put his head down. <laughs> after. Okay, my next eyeshadow palette that I picked up was I the want Morphe it. Want it, want it, want it. I'm gonna buy it eventually. Y'all know I'm basic as hell. So as soon as they released photos, yeah, I was like, this are. is done. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. I love you so much. <laughs> um, right here. Look at that green. Stunning. Everyone's like, you don't need it. It's like the 3502 and the 3502 with like pops of green. No, I know that. Buddy. I know I didn't need buddy. it, but I needed it. You know what I mean? I needed it. I need I it. I have to add it to my collection. Thank you, baby. So we're good. Let's go. You go again. Me go well, again. All right. So and then I'm we'll going to talk about same page. <laughs> the palette that I is tried probably to it. <laughs> the palette that is probably. Buddy. I like this, but the more I order from this brand, the more I realize buddy. I'm not a big fan of their um, eyeshadows at all. Pressed powders, I think. Yeah. So this is the So Jaded and Kathleen Lights, um, or the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop So Jaded eyeshadow palette. This is a beautiful eyeshadow palette. It really, really is. But I just. I don't know. I don't know if I just don't get along with ColourPop eyeshadows. I just don't, I don't enjoy them you should get as it much as I should. I'm not going to give it to you because I like this palette, but it did not live up to the expectation that I had. It's pretty. Um, we had a young lady messaging us about her. Her name is Stephanie. She was asking me questions about this palette, and I had let her know. Like, it's a very pretty palette, 
But if you can wait for a sale or a coupon, Shy. that's what I would do. Mom. That was Stephanie who won the um, naked uh, right? palette. Congratulations, Stephanie! Congrats, girl. We lost the little boy, I guess. His interest in makeup is very minimal. Oh, and I think we might be losing the little girl. Yeah, her buddy is awake. Her buddy Kayla. is awake. All right, you'll so hear him in the background play. playing. No, no, she's dragging me back. All right, so this next one that we picked up um, is the Wet n Wild, the 40 palette, the 40 pan palette. Um, this is supposed to be. Mine got um, swatched by a two-year-old. By a two-year-old, so it's a little guys. Oh, up. it looks pretty. It looks very pretty. She did an excellent job. She didn't gouge any of them out. No, ma'am. The wet and wild. It was twenty bucks. It was twenty bucks. It's really nice. So I do pretty. like it. I don't think the glitters do are the a, best, but you know. Yeah. I do, I do have a question for you guys, though. I do know that I said in our anti-haul when we actually talked about this wet and wild palette that I was going to get it, that I did not want to get the James okay. Charles palette. But now I'm thinking, if I get it to do, it does it do. Would that be like, you know, that should be cool, right? Let me know. All right, one more palette to talk about before we do it. Well, we've got two more palettes to talk about. This is the Anastasia and Norvina, um, the Norvina Collection Volume 1. I picked this palette up. Um, I told you guys it was in the mail um, in that I was going to purchase it, and I was super pumped about it, and I got it, and it is absolutely stunning. These... Um, eyeshadows. The formula on these shadows is just amazing. Like, I can't even begin to explain how beautifully pigmented they are, how lovely they are. So, these are absolutely stunning. I adore this eyeshadow palette. But, I used it yesterday short, just to throw out there. It's yeah. gorgeous. Shortly after I picked this $60 eyeshadow palette up, Norvina announced the launch of Volume 2, and then, like, the next day, Volume 3. And Which I, I like, honestly think is bullshit. Like, why are you doing that? So many so, so close together, because... Like that's $180. I want, I want all three. But I'm not like back to back. Like that's crazy. So I saw number <laughs> I saw number two on Instagram and I thought it was really pretty. It was mostly blues. But you know, I was like, eh, not really. And then I saw number three and my fucking jaw hit the floor and I absolutely fell in love. So I had to go and pick it up. And I know I said I wasn't gonna buy the sixty dollar friggin' eyeshadow palette, but I had to. And there it is, right there. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. I used this on my eyes today. I used, I've used, i used it like three times now, and I could die. I love this. I could die, it's so pretty. It's so it's $60, well right? And I know I said in our no buy <laughs> that I wasn't going to buy the volume one. Yeah, I wasn't gonna buy anything about the volume three. That's true, but it is still a sixty dollar eyeshadow palette. But after having used it and then also used volume one, I have to say it's very well worth the money. Um, I think it's beautiful. I uh, kind of want to try volume two, but I can't really no. just, she says no. No. Uh, no. Okay. I'm going to, I want to try volume two. No. I might, I'm debating no. it. It's not really an eyeshadow palette that I would use. Right. No. But I do, I do love these two. So maybe I will pick up volume two once our no buy goes on or maybe during the Sephora sale. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah. that's everything we have bought Holy and crap. our chaos of children. Yes. This is so yes. the chaos child. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this train wreck only in the ocean. Only in the ocean. And uh, you guys, if you did and you can understand the chaos of including your children in the video, please give us a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below. Click if you haven't done so already. And we will see you guys very, very soon. Very, very soon. In the next Smash video. Smash the like button. Do it. In the next Just one. Just do it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Say bye guys! Say bye guys!